guys, are you hungry? Today, I'm gonna to take you to one of my favorite food places here in Patia, which is the Chalk D Dim Sum Restaurant on Jam Tien Beach Road. Come on, let's take a look. Let's take a leisurely ride along Jam Tien Beach Road while I explain how to get to Chok D Dim Sum Restaurant, which is very simple to do. As you drive south on Jam Tien Beach Road, pay attention to the street signs, which are blue in color on the left side of the road. The landmarks you will need to pay attention to as you drive down Beach Road will not be any of the 7-Elevens, as there are many. If I had to guess how many, oh man, I would say there are about, oh, 7 to 11 7-Elevens. As you continue driving, notice the Soy 15 street sign on your left, plus the Santa C sign on your left, and the big tall building right behind it. After you pass Soy 15, the road will begin to narrow. Continue riding down Beach Road. As you come up to Soy 19, you will notice the big blue Jam Tien Patia Beach sign on your right. Now, you are very close to Chok D Dim Sum Restaurant. Keep looking to your left and soon you will see a big blue sign that says KP Sea View Jam Tien. You have now arrived at the Chok D Dim Sum Restaurant. As you approach the restaurant, hang a left on the soy that Chok D is located. There is plenty of parking in front, on the side, and across the street from the restaurant. You can get to the restaurant by either taking your own motorbike, hiring a motorbike taxi, your own car, or hiring a bot bus. I always enjoy the scenic motorbike ride along the beach. We're here at the Dim Sum, Chalky Dim Sum restaurant, and we're here really early, around 5 o'clock, so that we don't disturb the people that normally come here around 6 or 7. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the place. As you can see, it's a nice big place, air conditioned, great. Uh, let me give you a tour outside. You can eat outside here. We've got the tables out here to look at the ocean view. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Today is a very windy day, so you'd probably want to eat outside and have that, that air coming in and, and hitting you. It's really nice. But we're going to sit inside so it's nice and quiet, okay? All right. And then I'm going to sit down and we're going to order. Can I have three menus? Three? Three menus? Yep. Three. Let me fill you in on a few facts about the Chinese food called dim sum. Dim sum is a style of Chinese cuisine described as a small bite-sized portions of food served in small steamer baskets or on a small plate. Dim sum originated in the Cantonese-speaking areas of China centuries ago. The dishes are usually served with tea and together form a full tea brunch. Okay, now we're going to order our food and we ordered our drinks. I ordered the chrysanthemum tea, which is made from the chrysanthemum flower. And when Mother's Day came around in America, I used to get my mom mums. Well, this is the, this is the tea that's made out of those, those mum uh, flower plant. But it's really, really delicious. They make the best chrysanthemum juice here. No kidding, really. I come here just for the juice. Um, but we're gonna order a whole bunch of stuff here. This is refill, by the way. It's 39 baht, 39 baht. And, and as much as you want of the, of the chrysanthemum. Also, green tea is refill, 39 baht. Terrific deal on that. And so, and also, um, they've got 86 dishes. I think I said that before, right? 86 dishes. Um, I mean, this menu is tremendous. They've got like, like eight, different, eight different desserts and 18 different uh, drinks and all kinds of uh, signature drinks, watermelon and all kinds of other fruit drinks. The, the, the menu is tremendous. You're gonna have a hard time ordering because there's so many things to order that's great on this menu. Uh, so anyway, let us order our food. And then after we order our food, we're gonna take a tour of the kitchen and see how they actually cook some of the dim sum, which will be exciting, right? It's very exciting to go in the kitchen and look at the cooking, okay? 
So, what are you laughing at? Oh, by the way, could, could come, this, this is my daughter. Can you see my daughter here? And my wife, I brought them here to eat. And so we're gonna have a family dinner here. And you're gonna share dinner with us. And, and that's what we're gonna do, right? What are you laughing at? It's not funny. Okay, all right, that's it. Okay, goodbye, see ya. <laughs> we just ordered a whole bunch of food so you can see different uh, types of food that they have here. And I'm really hungry, so you know, you're lucky that I'm hungry because I'm ordering a lot of food. Uh, Gekwe, terrific. The best Gekwe you've ever tasted. I said that before, but I gotta say it again. And also, check this out. They have the menu on TV, and they're showing all the dishes that they make. Now these pictures are way better than the menu you get on your, on your table. And you can sit there for like a few minutes and remember which ones you like. Now this one looks really terrific. You got the beef, the noodles. This is the soup that I ordered. We're gonna have that soup. That looks really good too. And I'm telling you, this is, this is one of the best dim sum places I've found in Thailand. I've been to Bangkok and I've been to a bunch of uh, dim sum restaurants and this place blows away any dim sum restaurant that I've been so far that I'm living in Thailand. And that's the truth. Uh, so, in a minute, we're gonna go, we're, we're gonna, what are we, what are we doing? We got it. oh, and all this is just covered stuff. So, we don't know what's there. <laughs> no, seriously, no. But we're gonna go in the kitchen in a little bit and watch them cook some of our food to see how they prepare this dim sum, okay? And so, and that's it. We are back again, and they just uh, brought a couple of dishes. Can you, can you zoom in on this dish right here? They got two dishes so far. There's a lot more dishes coming, but the, uh, the, the timing of, of cooking and waiting for your food is very, very fast. You don't have to wait a long time. It comes out in minutes. So a lot, of, a lot more stuff is coming, and we're gonna go in the kitchen now and see what's going on in there. Okay, so follow me. Not first. Hello, hi. Hi. Good videotape, good cooking? Do a little bit here. Come on. Look at that. Wow. Check that out. Do the stir fry and the rice inside there. You got the, the noodles and the mushrooms. And wow, look at look at look at that. That's incredible. All right, very good. Most Chinese dim sum kitchens prepare their food already seasoned, so you don't really need to drown your dim sum in a whole bunch of sauces. Foreigners, like me, tend to prefer their dim sums to be on the more well-seasoned side, and that is why most foreigners enjoy the delicious sauces that are served with the dim sum dishes. Some of the most common dipping sauces include plum sauce, hot mustard, soy sauce, vinegar and chili oil, and a sweet and sour sauce. Within minutes, all the dishes we ordered started to arrive at our table. I filmed the waitresses delivering our food and gave my friend Derek, the cameraman, a rest. The aroma of all the dim sum and shumai dishes were incredible. I couldn't wait to sit down and eat. Most of the dishes we ordered came in those wooden steamer baskets. Some of the dishes we ordered were fried rice, egg rolls, pork and shrimp dim sums, and assorted shumai dishes, which are dumplings stuffed with shrimps, vegetables, noodles, rice, and pork. Fried wontons stuffed with pork and a noodle and chicken dish. They also brought out their homemade spicy and sweet dipping sauces. Man, what a meal. Here are two tips to enjoy your dim sum. One, don't eat dim sum in one mouthful as you will waste its originally prepared flavor. Grab one of your dim sums with your chopsticks or fork 
and dip it once in a sauce that you like. And two, don't drown your dim sum in too much sauce as you will lessen the flavor of the dim sum. My daughter saw how much I was enjoying the food, and so she wanted to film me eating this jumbo prawn that was baked in a juicy garlic sauce, which was out of this world. The bill came to a little under 800 baht, or about $25. All this food and endless drinks that fed the four of us, I was very pleased. This restaurant, with its great food, friendly service, reasonable prices, and the beautiful ocean view, will make you want to come here and enjoy a meal like I did today. We want to thank the management for letting us do our video here and wish them success in their restaurant. If you need more info on Chokdi Dim Sum Restaurant, just Google them and it will come up. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm Sonny Addison, and this concludes my Patty News update on where to find great hidden little blah blah blah. Okay, start it. <laughs> I'm Sonny Addison, and this concludes my Patty News update on where to find great little hidden treasure restaurants like these. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you.